this beer shares its name with a popular brand of French cigarettes. But this beer isn't French. See me walking around on the boy about town that you heard of. See me walking the streets on the top of the world that you heard of. It's beer a clock of from Brasserie du Bock. We have a bottle of their Gula Christmas coming in at 8.1% ABV. Now, a little bit about this brewery, uh, Brasserie du Bock. Um, really and truthfully, they, they really, really started going in 1949. Okay. Um, <coughs> but they have been around since 1858. Um, and they, they come from Perno in Belgium. Um, and they produce about 6 million litres of beer a year, believe it or not. So it's a fairly, fairly big operation. Um, they do the the Goula range, they do, you know, the usual, the blonde, the brune, the double, the ombar, the fruits, the triple, and the Christmas. And this is the first time I've actually ever had their beer, believe it or not. You know, <coughs> you think, well, the trouble is there's so many beers out there, especially in Belgium. And I say it's the first time I've ever had a Goula beer. So why not start with a Christmas one as we're approaching Christmas? So without further ado, let's crack it open. Let's get it into a glass and let's give it a review. I got this beer from um I think I think I got it. I think I got it from beeronweb.com. <laughs> um get the nice yeasty bits in the bottom now. There we go, look at that. Well, what a cracking looking beer. Oh, it's a real dark ruby red when you look through this. It's got a beautiful, nearly three finger, nice white tight foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, this beer brings me pleasure. Prune and drop. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what drop is, um, I always explain it. Drop is a Dutch style of licorice, like this, which they have um, at the bars, usually, in, in machines, or just loose on the bar that you can eat while you drink. Um, it's, it's a different type of sort of licorice to what um, us English are used to. But you can smell it in this beer. You know, you get, I'm getting sort of prunes, <coughs> drop licorice, there's some piney hops there, there's some spiciness, and it's, I'm getting a bit of cardamom there as well. It smells absolutely fantastic. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. <laughs> oh yes let's hit a spot for a, a beer that's or, or, or a beer that's not really sort of highly regarded in Belgium this Christmas beer it's really, really good. I'm going to take another sip before I tell you what it tastes like because the first one's really, really impressed me. It's fruity. It's slightly sweet. There's toffee notes there. There's the drop at the back end. You get that, that, that drop, that, you know, the, the licorice drop. And you're actually getting that these spices, especially cardamom. You're actually getting the hints of cardamom in this. The aftertaste is it just there's just licorice there. 
drop. It's just like I've, it's just like I've picked up one of these and, and ate it basically at the end. It's like I've had a sip of beer, swallowed it, chucked in, chucked in on a lump of drop, chewed on that. And that's the best way to describe it. Um, what an awesome beer. The 8.1% ABV is really, really masked well. It doesn't feel like you're even drinking an 8.1% beer. Yet again, the Belgians are very, very clever at this. Very, very clever masking up the alcohol. Um, a great Christmas beer. Certainly bringing a good smile to my face on a Sunday evening. What a great beer. What a great time, eh? What a great time. I mean, you can, you can sit there on a Sunday evening with a great beer like this. You know, with all the shit that's going on in the world at the moment, look at this. Beautiful, look at the white the head, the lacing on the side of the glass. Just, it's a knockout. I only got two bottles of it. One for me and one for her. Um, <laughs> I wish I'd got a few more now. I wish I'd got a few more because this is just beautiful beer. Beautiful beer. I'm surprised it's not more highly sought after and acclaimed um, than what it is, to be honest. You know, I would have thought that this would be, you know, a beer that everyone would be clambering over one another to get and fighting over one another to get because it is really that good. This is a, like an undiscovered beauty. You know, if you get online, you might be able to get hold of a bottle of this before Christmas. Um, just about. If you perhaps put an order in tonight. So look, you know... <laughs> I reckon if you haven't had this beer, you really, really need to try it. I just think it's lovely. This is a beer that coins the phrase, life is good. And it weren't expensive. It's about two two euros odd. Um, if I was to say two and a half euros for that. Bargain. Bargain. Great beer. Bargain price. The more t as it warms up, as it gets warmer, the better it gets. The smoother it gets. Um, it's so silky smooth. It's just a lovely beer that brings a big, big smile to my face. Um, you hear me if I say this quite a bit. This is a beer to try before you die. This is one of those beers to try before you die. Definitely. Um, a great example of a Belgium Christmas beer. Packed full of flavour. Slightly different to some of the others. But hey, we all like that, you know. If they were all the same, we'd get bored of them, wouldn't we? A very underestimated beer. So look, grab yourself a bottle of this beer. Try it. See what you think. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the review. <laughs> Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell up in the corner. Get notified every time I bring out a new review. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Yeah. <laughs>